It's a true sound of spring, a revving lawnmower. These are agricultural and biosystems engineering students at UT, and today they're busy with homework. The students are prepping lawnmowers for a summer of cutting. We go through, we clean them, we sharpen them, we change the spark plug, the air filters. And we're blessed to have such a great group of students because one, they don't mind getting their hands dirty, and, and two, they, they, they like the experience. UT employees also benefit here. They bring their mowers to the students who do the work for a small donation, but also learn about small engines, an extension of what they're doing in class. So you get to learn basically about just like small internal combustion engines and like the workings of it and like I've fixed my uh, grandfather's weed eater at the end of the class so it's fun to take what you learned here and then apply it. A lot of hands-on work that we don't necessarily have time to do in classes. We learn how they work from textbooks and everything and it's good to see it hands-on. Maintenance will cost you a few bucks but consider it a smart investment. A lawnmower built today could last for decades with just a few simple tweaks in spring. It's good to clean the underside of the mowers, scraping away caked grass and muck. You should also change the oil and air filters in your mower at least once a year. This way the mower uses less fuel and won't put as many pollutants in the air. New spark plugs will also give you a cleaner running engine. Then there's the blade. It needs to be sharpened at least once a year. When the blade is in good shape, the mower stays in balance and your lawn will thank you. This gives you a much smoother cut on your grass. It helps the grass look greener and uh, more lively. Check the belts and then you're ready for a summer of mowing. No matter how you cut it, when a machine runs well, it will last. This is Chuck Denny reporting.